Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm here with the Raspberry Pi 3 running RetroPie 3.8.1 and I want to show you how to set up your PS3 Bluetooth controller. Now I did a video a while back on RetroPie 3.7, but some people are having trouble finding the same options in the menu. This may be irrelevant very soon because RetroPie 4.0 is coming out, but don't worry, I have a tutorial on that coming up next. Before we get started, you're going to need a keyboard or another wired controller connected to the Raspberry Pi 3. Now, I have my keyboard connected to the Raspberry Pi 3. I also have my PS3 USB cable connected, but it is not plugged into my PS3 controller. Don't plug it in yet. Wait to be prompted, and then we can plug it in. So I'm going to set up my keyboard as a gamepad right now. This is important because after we install the PS3 Bluetooth driver, we need to be able to get back into the menu to set up a controller. So I'm using my keyboard. I'm going to set it up now. For my D-pad, I'm just using my arrow keys. For my start button, I will use Q. For my select, I will use W. For my A, I will use A. And for my B, I will use S. Now those are really the only ones we're going to need to navigate the menu. So you can go ahead and do whatever other keys you'd like to do. You can set this up whatever way you'd like, just remember what you set up. My keyboard's mapped to A. I'm going to press A now. So from here, we want to just scroll over to RetroPie. Press your A button. Scroll down to RetroPie Setup. Now I have Ethernet connected. If you want to set up Wi-Fi, go ahead and do that now. You're going to need to be online to download the PS3 driver package. Press your A button. Now inside the RetroPie Setup menu, you will navigate using your arrow keys and to enter one of these options, you'll press Enter on your keyboard. So I need to go to number three, which is setup and configuration. Press enter. Scroll down until you see install pair PS3 controller. This may be a different number for you, so you may need to scroll down further or look around just a little bit, but it will be inside of this menu as long as you're running RetroPie 3.8.1. When you locate your install slash pair PS3 controller, hit enter. You want to choose number one, install pair PS3 controllers. When we hit enter, it will start to download the driver for us. It may take a little while. Be patient, it should finish. I'm going to press enter now. After it's done downloading and installing, it'll bring you to this menu here. The driver and configuration tools for connecting PS3 controllers have been installed. Please connect your PS3 controller now or anytime to its USB connection to set up Bluetooth connection. So when we plug this in right now, it's going to get the Bluetooth address from the PS3 controller because all of them are different. You're going to plug in your PS3 controller to your Raspberry Pi 3 now. All four lights on top will flash for a bit. Just leave it plugged in for five to 10 seconds. Then you can unplug it, press your PlayStation button in the middle of your controller. You will feel it vibrate and you should be on number one. The LED for number one should be lit up on your PS3 controller. You are now connected to your Raspberry Pi 3 with Bluetooth, but we still need to set the controller up. So we're going to use the keyboard to navigate out of this menu. Cancel. Cancel, cancel. From here, I'm gonna press my start button and I map my start button to my Q button on my keyboard. Scroll down to configure input. Press your A button that you configured on your keyboard. And you see it's detected one gamepad. Now I do not have this plugged in with USB. This is connected with Bluetooth. You can set up your PS3 controller now.
you now have your PS3 controller connected to your Raspberry Pi 3 with Bluetooth. So you have a wireless controller you can use now. It's a really cool option. Um, I use this all the time and it's very simple to do. The install only takes a few minutes. It's very quick. You just need another controller or keyboard connected so you can navigate the menu to install the PS3 controller driver. That's it for now guys. This tutorial will change when RetroPie 4.0 comes out. The menus have changed a little bit, but I'm going to make a tutorial now on the RetroPie 4.0 Beta 2. The link will be in the description. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.